All right, guys, we are back. You boy Icy, man. Make sure you press the like button and make sure you subscribe to the like button. Click the bell and comment down below how you feel. Whether it's something weird or whether it's something real. You know what I'm saying? So we're back with Zen. All the links will be in the description. So basically, so far, what I'm doing for this project as far as creating content is I'm just going to Jack Levin's Twitter account and reading previous posts. So without further ado, make sure you click the, the description. You should have the links. The Discord might be outdated. I'm thinking they're they're giving me or people access for seven days with the links. So if you're interested in the link, I'll post it. I'll post like an updated version. So if that's something you want as well, just click click the comment section and type something in the comment section. So just a quick follow up. I'm going to make this video fast, man, because I just tried to make a video. It was longer and I could barely hear the audio. <laughs> so normally when I do these reviews and I talk about the news based on Jack Levin's Twitter page or social media in general, I like to wait for the most part until I create the video. So the news is fresh to myself as well. Or maybe I'll glance over some things and then I'll come back. I'm on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and Avalanche. All right. I have about 10 to 15 active mints. Some, you know, some a little more. On, I think I have the most on either Binance or Polygon. I'm going to do some more as well, just because it's why not, you know? It's free for people. It's not really free. You're paying the gas fee. Well, which one is freer? When you uh, a, t a crypto or a token where you pay the gas fee and you pay for the token or a crypto and token where you just pay for the gas fee? Which one is freer? Because they both can't be equal. Which one would you prefer? Would you prefer to pay for a crypto and gas or just pay for gas? Which one? For people who like to say, oh, it's not free. Either you're going to pay, either you're going to mint this, either you're going to mint a crypto by paying for it and paying for gas, or you're going to mint a crypto by just paying for gas. Which one, which one do you want for people who like to say, now, I like to be straight to the point. We don't have to dance. We don't have to, oh, uh, see, you know what happened. What? No, no, no. Which one do you want? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. All right. So let's go over to. The Twitter and we're going to zoom up or we might just start from down here because I think these are older posts as well. So join us two hours. So I think we've seen this one. What is Zen? We've seen this. All right. So I don't, don't want to go too crazy with stuff we've seen. Bullish. If you know, you know, this one thing started getting deflationary. Do, 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 do. And of course, there was there were some other projects as well. That also co contributed, but um, Zen is definitely high up on that list as far as contribution with, um, you know, making these things deflationary on some of these chains, more specifically Ethereum. Only the unloved hate. Chaplin delivers a powerful, powerful speech that more important today than ever. And I used to watch Charlie Chaplin in a film class I had in college, which I didn't graduate, by the way. I did not graduate, I should say. And I'm proud of it because it helped me excel in other things. I just went to make my mom happy, which obviously I didn't make her happy because I didn't graduate. But she's happier that I've excelled in other things that I wouldn't have learned in college. But shouts out to the guys, you know what I'm saying, who go. And shouts out, big ups to the guys who go and graduate, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. Also, I was flirting with the um, the film teacher back then. I actually set up a date, and I got too scared to go through with it. So, if you if you are the film teacher, and you know, and you just happen to read this video, yeah, that was me. We were supposed to met at the Starbucks, and I'm just letting you know that I was too scared to go through with it. You know, what I'm saying one of my friends did us a uh, we did a bit, and she was like 
six years older than us, so it wasn't too crazy. We were like 18, she was like 25, 24, or something like that. Um, and we were like, hey, man, I dare you to talk to her. Like, no, you talk to her. I dare you to talk to her. I'm like, man, I'm going to do it. So, and back then, I, uh, we all, all we had was like the email for the, um, you know, to, 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 to communicate online and stuff. Like, if you try to do anything more than that, it'll like block you off or something like that. But yeah, if you see that, yeah, that was me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we also have popcorn community. So we had an AMA for popcorn, which is a platform where you can essentially stake $100 worth of Zen and you get $100 worth of popcorn and you can stake it. I, I, I forgot what the APY was, but definitely check out the discord if you want to learn more, because this is the first utility that passed, by the way. This is not like, you know, a possibility or maybe. No, this is past. If you want if you want to use some of your your Zen for those guys who bought hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Zen, here's your shot to get something going. You know what I'm saying? Um and shouts out to Jack. Shouts out to the Zen the Zenians. Shouts out to the Zen community. And shouts out to Popcorn Dial. You know what I'm saying? Zen review, Chinese version. I, this, I actually haven't looked at this yet. So I'm going to look at it just to show support. Um, let's go ahead and get out a like. You know. Elon Musk on FUD. No one is doing space, so I'll do space. Man, shout out to this guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how he's getting... I don't know how he's rocking out being able to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just going to put some satellites in the sky. Like, people just people just do... Can I do that? If I, if, I, if I put together... Can we put some satellites up there? Like I've been trying to figure out what's what's behind the scenes to get get people the ability to do some of this stuff. So here you go to God, and I believe this might be his daughter, I think. And they're I think they're going. Um, was it? Uh, uh, I forgot the exact. I don't. As a dirt bike, right? My one of my goals is to have something remote like this. This looks awesome to me. Something remote like this is one of my places. Have a bunch of land, you know. Put something into a, uh, uh, what is it called? Let's just say experience some type of euphoric high from a, from, ah, oh man, y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> y'all know what I'm saying. And just walk around. Wouldn't it be with some clean air? Oh my God. This is the type of stuff I have dreams about, man. So I'm going to get something like this and just, I don't want, I want to get too far into, uh, into that, but I want to experience some, just some, just walking around. I'm going to have something in my hand. And, and yeah, <laughs> just call it a night. Uh, here go popcorns. Uh, wait, wait. And where's the website? Popcorn Dial. So soon we'll welcome Zen Crypto and the Zenians to stake Zen for pop and earn noble yield while creating positive global impact. Make sure you check this out. I've actually heard about this on... The Discord, because I'm in a Discord as well. So make sure you guys do your research on some of this stuff, because, you know, that's how you stay ahead, like your boy. What else? What else? What else? Uh, when? What is Zen? All right. So I, I check all this stuff out, man. I'm not as well versed as some other people. I, I still have a hard time breaking things down to people and breaking things down to myself. But that's repetition, man. I, I'll come through and read some of this stuff over and over and over. You know, I watch an AMA and then I watch somebody else watch the AMA. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do that. Zen, very little drop off between active and new users. Web app stats. Oh, the Aussie is green numbers. We love that. We love, we love, we like that. You know what I'm saying? See green numbers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's, I like the, how consistent uh, Jack is as well. To the mind that is still the word, the whole. You, wait, I'm messing up. My bad, y'all. My bad. To the mind that is still the whole universe. I keep wanting to say world for some reason. The whole universe surrenders. So this is by Lao Tzu. You know what I'm saying? Now, if y'all want me to break this down, type in the comment section, break that down. Just type that in. Break that down. And I'll come back. You know what I'm saying? And do it. Uh, I am, wait, I am always delighted to say nothing is perfect, but then there's in. You know, shout out to this guy. More Maurice ETH, you know what I'm saying? More easy. Hashtag wait, uh, dollar sign more. Shouts out to uh, Trey Veezy, you know what I'm saying? So I believe I believe that's what's going on. So shouts out to Trayvon. Um, 
You know what I'm saying? He does good work. He keeps up with this stuff. And shouts out to Jim Rat Crypto. Those guys do uh, great work. Those guys have awesome mustaches. You know what I'm saying? I was jealous. I'm going to keep it real. It takes me like eight months to, uh, of, of consistent maintenance to grow something like that. And then again, I'm still very, very hard on my mustache. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be tripping. Mexi Holdings on Zen dropped over 50% first few days to 11%. As they get diluted by regular users. All right. So people are over on Max C trading their mm off. Buying and selling. I should be on the corner somewhere buying and selling like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we also had Prove you're not a bot. Our next move is encoded in this puzzle. Find four words to get a clue about the announcement coming this week. One second, I got my nephews calling my name in the background, guys. So if you hear somebody busting the room, that's probably what's about to happen. Um so I did find Zen right here, and that's pretty much it. But I did see other words. I'm going to just zoom in here so you guys can get a good look. Maybe you can pause it if you want. I put about 30 minutes worth of work in here, and, I, and the only thing I could find was Zen. I put 30 minutes worth of work. You know what I'm saying? And I had somebody blowing my phone up while I was trying to solve this, asking me for something. So that, that was throwing me off, but... If you can find more, and make sure you pause it if you want to actively do this, because when we scroll up, it's going to be a spoiler. You know what I'm saying? All right. Ethereum, who is responsible for these burns? It was brought to the light that around 3,318 ETH was being burned every day. However, this was done by, this wasn't done by just one entity. As soon as seen in, I can't read, y'all. I'm sorry, man. I just got to let y'all know and I got to come to grips with that. We're we, we going to prove. As seen in the image, as seen in the below image, I'm reading this stuff backwards. I got a problem. As seen in the below image, Uniswap, Zen Crypto, OpenSea, Tether, and even MetaMask, among others, were pertinent contributors to the burn rate. All right? As you guys can see right there. Let's go. So we're not done. There's a whole bunch of bad kids outside. I'm out here babysitting, man. This, this stuff ain't easy. So I got to give me a like button just for that. So here, here go the spoiler. So we see Zen. We see NFT. We see crypto. And we see OpenSea. Let's get it. Now, I lost a lot of money on OpenSea. I got scammed on OpenSea all this year. Uh, I lost so much money, I didn't even put it on camera. Because it was just a lot of scams happening with, with NFT projects. It was crazy. But would I choose that over some heavy centralized situation? Yes. The answers will all be yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We got a barking chihuahua in the background. I'm not in my normal situation, so I'm not going to be... The, the quality ain't going to be A1. You know, I got a cat trying to get my attention. I got a barking chihuahua, bad kids. You know, we're going through it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get us a like. She's going to bark for the rest of the video, guys. So I don't feel like going to mess with her right now. But NFTs, Zen, Crypto, and OpenSea, which means Ethereum. Because I believe OpenSea is an Ethereum uh, NFT-based platform. You know, where I lost a lot of money. I don't, and I'm talking about And you mix that in with Telegram. Yeah. Rookie's going to get, Rookie's going to lose some money. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that's bullish news. I might put that in the title somewhere, so it's not going to be uh, super clickbaity. When you are having fun, that's when you create the best work. So, yeah, I, I, I like this, and I retweeted that because it makes sense. You know, that's what, I, that's what I've been doing on YouTube for so many years. But I'm going to keep it real. It's going to sound like a yeah, yeah, yeah situation, but I keep getting hacked. Every time I cross 100,000 subscribers on the channel, I get hacked. So somebody's stalking me. I think I might have put it to an end because when I contacted YouTube, which you got to do it on Twitter, uh, when I contacted YouTube, they found a, a web, they found an email that was attached to my account that was also attached to a hacker. Like it was weird. So once I was, I had to, I had to contact them to get that off. And then I said, Hey, can I have my subscribers back? I got like 500,000 subscribers on three across three gaming channels. They're like, oh, we can't prove. So I'm going to have to harass them again. I, my legacy is on there. For people who think that I just popped up or I'm animated for no reason, 
I've been like this since I started YouTube. And I started YouTube in like 2011. So if YouTube don't give me my channels back, it's going to be hard for me to prove that. But you can just type in this name and, and, and you can type in like some Roblox games and you'll be able to find me. You'll be able to find my face and everything. Hold on. I'm recording a video. You got to get up out of here. All right, guys. Sorry about that. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all this is gonna be a troll. My troll nephews and popped up. You know what I'm saying? It's trolls all in the family. Um, but yeah, aims to empower the individual. No pre-mint, no admin keys, immutable contract. Don't y'all love hearing stuff like this? Or y'all when they win, moon, win. Get get off your knees. Number one. That's number one. For guys who say, get off your knees. Hold on. I'm gonna tell. Let's figure out who needs need to get off their knees right now. Go to the comment section. Who, who need to get off their you know, I'm gonna leave them guys alone, man. Let's get back. Let's get back to it. I'm gonna get thrown off. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So before I get disturbed by somebody else busting through the door, I told you all this crap was gonna happen. Um, <clears throat> so I showed you guys buying that smart chain. I got some Zen up in here. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to start making some fresh Zen just for the H of it. Uh let's go over to Ethereum. I'm just gonna look at just this one wallet and just one thing from each one that I'm on. Been out for 14 days. Awesome. We got a 311 day mint for this particular wallet. Um, it's gonna be on the popping, you know what I'm saying? By then we should have some things, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what? They should have a way where even before your mint is done, nah, because if people don't show up, nah, I was thinking about something. Somebody probably gonna do it. I think I was on the right track what I was thinking about, but the thought then fully mature because I was going to be uh and be all over the place and we'd have been on here for another. I've been recording this video for a little bit longer, but yeah. So we got let's go to Polygon. I, I think I have the most accounts on Polygon. I think Polygon was doing so with Disney as well. So you guys might want to research that because that could be some bullish for people who oh, I, I don't know why I would trust this crypto stuff. Well, hey, do you trust Disney? Y'all taking y'all going there every every uh every year? Do you trust Disney? Now, research that, guys, because I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Polygon got something going on with Disney. Or Disney got something going on, going on with Polygon, whatever. So I, I, I was able to get some 100-day... Um, <clears throat> some 100-day... Uh, some 100-day mints going on. So these 100 days, I got about three or four of these because I was able to get in early on Polygon. With these, I'm pretty much going to... I'm going to... Once they mint... I'm just gonna put them in my wallet. I don't think I'm a re. I don't think I'm a re. Uh, which I'm gonna call it. But with that being said, I need to figure it out so I can do some longer stakes. And then once these, you know, become available, I'll just have them in my wallet, just in case something pops up. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. So you gotta be prepared. That's why I don't. I watch other uh, content creators. I listen to other. Con I take advice um, on other content creators. I don't recommend you do that, but you know, sometimes I do that and. I still come to my own conclusions. Like, I'm not going to just listen to somebody else and that's it. I don't care who they are. Like, somebody, oh, I'm going to do this. People try to sound all scientific. Like, listen, you guys got to understand, most of you guys are armchair crypto scholars. Armchair. Armchair. You know what I'm saying? So I still recommend you do your own research. I don't care how smart somebody sounds. Because what they what ends up happening is people retract and then they got to come up with another strategy and then you're like whoa you were real confident on that first one what the hell happened you know what I'm saying so you still got to do your own things your own research or whatever and then let's go over to Avalanche slash C one of my nephews want attention so he might start screaming again um blah, 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 blah. oh so we did another so I did some hundred day stakes on Avalanche as well so once these Avalanche and Polygons one and Binance ones come available. Cause I did way more long term <laughs> stuff with Ethereum. I'm just gonna take them bad boys out and just keep it moving. But within the next few days, probably tomorrow, if I can get some money off my account, I'm about to, I'm about to move my LLCs over too. Because this particular bank is just not letting me do nothing no more. It was it started off all good and they just restricted more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And I'm not feeling. It. Dang, this video is gonna be longer than the other one. My bad, guys. I talk about a whole bunch of stuff, man. But yeah, we got 100 days. So. I got about 15, I got anywhere from like 15 to 20 wallets per chain. And that's kind of where I just stopped at. I still have, and the gas is so cheap on like Polygon and Binance. Like you can get a hundred wallets with like probably $20.
No cap. So, yeah, man. That's going to pretty much be it, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the like button. Subscribe to uh, Trayvon. Subscribe to uh, Jim Rat Crypto. You know? And keep it moving. And subscribe to me. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Icy. And I'll see you guys on the next video.